final question to you um, is that there's this propaganda and uh, mind manipulation of and against India. And I think since 2014, it has in fact increased, right? I mean, examples of uh, us promoting uh, International Yoga Day, right? Mm. It's somehow evil, you know, it's somehow communal. Uh, giving accelerated refugee citizenship rights to persecuted people, minorities from uh, these mis Islamic nations is somehow not a noble thing to do. Mm. And you hear all of these propaganda just going on and on and increasing day by day over the tiniest of, of things. Um, in your words, uh, what advice would you give and would you like to give to young people who are out there in the world who are consuming all of this this negativity and all of this you know because all of these propagandas and narratives that are out there they do create you know a sense of of anxiety or a sense of right. uh, negativity so what advice would you give to all the young people who are out there consuming all of this against india against the current government and of course against the confident hindu renaissance so what would right. you be you know i would honestly say um Nowadays, two eyes is not enough to see the reality. You have to use all three eyes. <laughs> you have to see through the delusion and the illusions of the Maya that we're living in. Mm -hmm. Just question, just question your sources, question why you believe what you believe. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that often it's simply because somebody else told you to believe it, right? And so I think for anyone, anyone young, no matter where they lived, I would tell them this, you know, that you should really, really question who you're trusting and believing as your sources of information. There is enough evidence, you know, that the mainstream media is not at all a truthful source of information. So I hope that anyone listening, whether they're older or younger, takes time to research these things on their own, really get a broad perspective on these topics before coming to conclusions about anything, whether it's politics, religion, you know, international news, whatever that it is, mm -hmm. and really take a step back because you'll start to see the thread that connects a lot of these narratives mm -hmm. is, is all intertwined. And like you're saying, a lot of the current um, sentiments against India is, it's when you, when you really start to see it, you can you can you can see it clearly for what it is. I mean, I can give you one example too. There, one of my friends who runs a page was sharing that, you know, India gives out all these vaccines and for COVID, and that their numbers are going down. And the same article title saying like numbers in the U.S. have gone down. Sorry, numbers in New Zealand have gone down. Here's what they've been doing right. And then it says numbers in India have gone down. It's a mystery. Like, like really? So. It's almost they're always trying to play off India as if they're incompetent, mm -hmm. and that it's 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 the fundamental fundamental narrative of this you know colonizer mentality, still thinking that it's this this white man's burden to judge you know these different countries and especially when it comes to India, and it's it's ridiculous that people have that that arrogance, and so I hope people can see that we have absolutely no place to judge or to incorrectly label what other nations are doing when we have no context on what their government is, what their politics are, what life is like for them. Mm -hmm. Americans really need to know that aspect, but also I'm sure other people as well. And I hope, again, just to question, question where you, where you get your information and truly see when you go to the, the sources the the actual you know shastras and you actually go into you know temples and you actually do these practices yourself you you have the light of truth inside of you because you're tapping in through your own practices and your own you know you know spiritual principles you can see you can see things clearly for what they are and you can understand the beauty of the tradition you know even when there's all these outside voices telling you that that's not the case so i hope that you know more and more um people and kids are inspired to reconnect 
that's that's such a beautiful way to put it um and just to follow up uh, how do you really start in the sense that where do you start with you know if if you want to tap into into this energy where is it that you start yeah i mean there's so many places i would say um meditation obviously is a huge one sitting with yourself in meditation is so important you know for so many dimensions of life and understanding and really knowing your identity outside of whatever anybody is telling you mm -hmm. and tapping into your personal divine connection um you know even practices like puja and going to temple can really help tap you into that space too just being in that energy field with these higher beings is is really inspiring more than people realize and of course yoga practices as well all the different dimensions and limbs of yoga included in that um, and i think tapping back in getting back into you know maybe reading some scriptures like bhagavad gita or the upanishad something which can really start giving you a glimpse at what this how how vast and powerful of this science really is and I think ultimately, to be honest, the most beneficial thing and easiest way to learn in an empowering way and a truthful way is to follow a master, follow a guru who is authentic, because you don't things don't get lost in translation when you have a guide like that on your path. And that's why they've always existed. So it really helps to have maintain the authenticity and inspiration when you're going through the spiritual path. Namaste. We hope you enjoyed this Chitti Media content. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.